Hello, bearded bee people. Welcome back to the B&K's Bees channel for another episode of Random Inspection Friday. This will be the last episode that I will do uh, the week of, of uploading. I've got a bunch of um, a bunch of stored Random Inspection Friday videos that should get us through at least the vast majority of the winter. So there will be no lapse in uh, publication of videos, but they will be from you know July and August and. September um, because the end of the year is is here and I won't be getting into these bees very much more if at all and even today what I'm going to do is bring you around and lift the backs of the hives make sure that they're heavy um, maybe pop a couple covers just to look at the populations but I'm not going to be diving into the uh, into the heart of the hives so let's get started I think I'm going to look at this big one All right, like I said, I'm not, I'm not getting in. I'm not pulling any frames out. I'm gonna lift the back, and it's quite heavy. And I'm gonna look into the top. Now it looks pretty good. Good bunch of bees. Oh yeah, that looks really good. This box is full of food. Bees are actively condensing the syrup and honey and all that, so that's good. And that's good enough for me. There's not a whole lot I could do if there was something going on uh, deeper. I have no reason to suspect that there is, so I'm not going to mess with them any more than necessary. All right, so similar story on this one right here. I just lifted this the other day when I did the moving the hives video, so I know it's quite heavy. I'm not going to lift it. Um, I do want to see what the population looks like. Oh boy, that looks good. That is how a single box should look before winter, folks. That looks good, good, good. Like I said, no need to go further. Limited amount of things that I could do for them if there was a problem. And I just am doing this kind of stuff right now for my sake of mind. You can see some bees are still a little bit confused about what's going on because the hives that were right here and here are right there and right there um, but I'm not worried about that so where else should we go ladies and gentle beaks I want to look a couple back here so let's do that like I said I should have a uh, I should have enough Random Inspection Friday videos to get us through uh, a real good portion of the winter. And hopefully I'll be able to mix in some trips out to the yards during the winter. Whether I'm checking food or just checking to see if everything's still upright. Because they're, just because we're not working our hives in the winter doesn't mean that there's not some things that you should be doing so hopefully I'll be able to bring you along for that all right this looks pretty good here oh bees are tagging me in the face that looks good I'm gonna lift up the back oh that's very good so good good 
this is the the basis for a, a mid to late October inspection in Michigan. So let's move on to the next. How about this one? Great job. Oh boy, that looks good. How about that? How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? I'd say there's a few bees in there, folks. I'm going to pause this video and take a picture of these ladies because that's just darn beautiful. And we're back. All right. That looks good. That feels good. Heavy wise, I mean. And so that's all I need to do with these. Trying to wiggle that so that when I put the cover on, it doesn't crunch them. Push those bees on the front off. So that once again I don't crunch them. But that's a 10 out of 10, folks, as far as the single goes. Alright. Now let's walk to a different portion because I'm pretty sure I know what's going on with these hives. How about we check this one right here? Find out if I'm gonna be able to move it by myself. I don't own a fancy wheelbarrow or nothing. Um, or anything, obviously, that was a joke. Um, but, yeah, all these ground hives have to be moved here this week. That's why I created that hive stand that we just walked past. But I suspect this one to be heavy like a neutron star. Oh, roaches. What the roach? Oh my goodness. That looks good, folks. Gosh darn, that looks good. Ouch, I just got stung in the finger. Alright, I'm going to pause this one, take another video. And we're back. That's all I need to see. These bees aren't too happy right now. I'm gonna close them back up. Got stung in the finger. Finger stings are not fun. I'm gonna try to push these ones off without crunching them. And then the last bit of check is to lift. Oh my goodness, that's heavy. Cool. If that other one was a 10 out of 10, that's got to be a 9.5. Um, I think I'm pretty good on that. This is my Buckfast breeder. They've done well since I put them here. They're heavy as heck. Very, very populated. Um, this one is a Mary Ellen daughter, a late season split. Once again, very heavy. Once again, very populated. This was my last queenless starter of the year um, that was populated by a swarm. So they were a very, very late, uh, I guess you could call them a split because I caught the late season swarm and then used them for like two or three grafting sessions. So they didn't have a laying queen in there until sometime in September. But they look pretty, ah, screw it, let's get in there. Um, they're, they're pretty heavy, I think. I just took off the food, and it doesn't have a an upright brick, so that would tell me that the food level is pretty good. But let's check the population level. Because those are two 
things that should be connected. If you have a lot of bees, you've got to have a lot of food. Mm, I don't like putting these hives back to back because I can't get to the back really easily. So I've got to go to the other side of this one. Population looks okay. Um, here, I'll show you. Not great. They're not filling out the entire box, but it looks pretty good. They obviously have a considerable amount of food. So, that's uh, what, six and a half out of ten, maybe? But they didn't necessarily have, you know, the chance that all the other hives in this yard have had. Because, like I said, they were, they were uh, put to a specific purpose at a late portion of the year. And that didn't really give them the ability to grow up in the way that a lot of the other ones did. Um, I had held out the option of combining them with another colony was not certain if I was going to do that or not based on what I see there it's probably a no um, but that decision will be made probably within the next couple of weeks when I'm going to be doing the same type of inspections on the ones that are a maybe the ones that are less than eight out of ten we shall say um, of which there are maybe five in this yard and maybe three in another yard and I don't know, there's, there's not a whole lot that aren't, you know, 8, 9, or 10 out of 10 as far as chances going into winter. So, uh, that's, that's the basic, you know, October inspection here in Michigan. Not a whole lot more you can do. Um, and this will be, like I said, the last random inspection Friday that was filmed, you know, shortly before publication. So, you'll be getting reruns so to speak although you guys have never seen them so uh yeah i'm hopefully this random inspection friday thing will be a, a good way to continue publishing videos throughout the uh the months that i'm not able to be out here chatting about bees too often so hopefully you like it if you do click like if you haven't already click subscribe you'll get notified for other videos in the future Otherwise, get out there and have some fun with your bees while you still can. Thanks for watching.